It's a packed weekend of events in Pittsburgh, and you may already notice some changes in effect. Roads and bridges are already starting to close this morning and will be shut down until Monday. Nicole Ford is live with a look at what's happening. Nicole. Christine Kim, it's one of the biggest events of the year in the city of Pittsburgh, and it happens right here on the Andy Warhol Bridge. Check this out. Preparations already underway for Picklesburg. You can see tents for vendors up. Then over here at the beginning of the bridge, police barricades. And this is just the beginning as these festivities kick off later on this week. No amount of rain is halting the setup for Picklesburg this weekend. We know uh, historically it's one of the most significant and, and well attended events um, throughout the year in Pittsburgh. And the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership is hoping the turnout this year is no different. The pandemic canceled the event last year, so organizers want to make sure people are safe this time around. All the vendors are going to be on the Andy Warhol Bridge this year, and we're actually putting the uh, the food vendors and the the uh, drink vendors over on the Fort Duquesne Boulevard there just to give things a little bit more space uh, for, uh, in the past. It's been somewhat crowded on the bridge, but with those changes come some big road closures. The Andy Warhol Bridge and part of Fort Duquesne Boulevard between 9th Street and Stanwyck Street will be closed for Picklesburg. Then on the North Shore, more closures from even more festivities. There's the Hella Mega Tour and the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers preseason game at Heinz uh, uh, Field on Saturday. Um, so yeah, if people could just uh, you know be as patient as possible. Obviously, we're trying to create a, a, a level of vibrancy downtown. As for the concert at PNC Park, traffic changes and parking will be similar to Pirates games. Plus, the North Shore exit off 65 will be closed. And if you're trying to get from the North Shore to the Parkway, the key word to remember for all of the detours is the Rachel Carson Bridge. Now, before you head into the city for any of these events this weekend, make sure to check the websites for the mask and vaccine requirements. As for all of these road closures, everything should be back open by Monday morning. Reporting live on the Andy Warhol Bridge tonight, Nicole Ford, Kitty K News.